In a new interview from the 2020 conference on batteries, Tesla CEO Elon Musk made some big rev uh, revelations talking about the semi-truck, saying that uh, they see a path over time to 1,000 kilometer range for a heavy-duty truck. 1,000 kilometers is, of course, 621 miles of range for Tesla semi-truck, and we're going to go into details right now. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for the uh, daily Tesla news and ring the bell uh, so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Everyone in the trucking industry, not everyone, but most people are with excitement looking to Tesla semi truck and it's coming because even if they don't want to buy it right now, it is going to be a game changer in the semi truck and um, in trucking industry in general. The Tesla Semi may be requiring a lot of patience among its reservation holders, but it appears that the all-electric Class 8 long hauler semi truck will be well worth it the wait says Simon, Simon Alvarez from the Tesla Radi continuing saying while speaking at the European battery conference organized by the Federal Ministry of Economics Elon Musk remarked that the Tesla semi will be equipped with structural battery pack this together with other optimizations should allow the Tesla semi to have a range of up to 620 miles in the future 620 or 621 actually elon musk being in europe you know the metric system there is um, kilometers versus miles he said 1000 miles which is between 620 and 621 um, kilometers here's what elon musk said at the conference in an interview getting a range of 500 kilometer is i think quite easy he said referring to tesla semi and he continued saying and this is assuming a truck that is pulling a lot of something in the in in the order of 40 metric tons so that so that's a heavy truck for long range trucking up to we think easily 800 kilometers and we see a path over time to get to about 1000 kilometers of range we think this is going to be extremely competitive and compelling to tracking companies elon musk said now the tesla semi's initial range of 300 to 500 miles per charge is is no joke but it does give the impression that the class 8 long hauler is best used for short or medium routes with a 620 miles range however things become very different together with its low operating costs stellar safety systems as well as built-in driver assist features like convoy mode the tesla semi could very well be a haymaker against the emissions in the tracking industry there was a tweet on uh, um, by reflex research uh, from yesterday saying elon on semi truck viability at european battery conference getting a range of 500 kilometer is quite trivial to be frank for a semi truck pulling a load of 40 tons you can the range easily you can the range easily up to 800 kilometers and we see a path to get to 1000 kilometer range with 40 ton load and he said it should be able to carry the same he was quoting elon musk and here's another quote saying it should be able to carry the same cargo as a diesel truck we think will have less than a one ton load penalty it is just fundamentally a calculation of what's the energy density of the cell, the pack, meaning the battery pack, and the integrated cell and pack chassis. I don't know what one ton penalty is. Are they losing like one ton or so? Um, let me know, guys, if you know in the comment section below. Now, the trucking industry is among uh, the biggest culprits in the transportation sectors overall emissions you know if you are driving in the highways with a lot of trucks you know the emissions that they uh, emit following the unveiling of the tesla semi back in 2017 the environmental defense fund published a post stating 
that the transportation sector, now look at this carefully, accounts for 7% of total fine particulate matter globally. 7% is small, but it's in reality huge number, huge percentage, huge portion. Commonly known as stood particulate matter has been linked to several diseases such as cancer, heart attack, and strokes. Freight trucks produce nearly half of the transportation sector's total fine particulate matters. Did you see that? Freight trucks produce nearly half of the transportation sector's total fine particulate matters. This is why I said that this 7% is no joke. There is no doubt that a shift to electric trucks would benefit the environment and humanity as a whole. And I believe Tesla Semi and after that a host of semi-electric trucks that may come from Mercedes, Ikaskazia and some will definitely help. Now sadly, battery electric trucks have been constrained by range so far. Even vehicles made by veteran truckers like the e Cascadia are only able to travel a kind of small 250 miles per charge. That makes battery electric trucks limited in their use, despite their environmental benefits. However, I still think that uh, because a lot of uh, trucking is done in short distances, not necessarily long distance, which is big part, at least if right now we can convert the short distance tracking, let's say from a local Walmart warehouse to the Walmart in the near cities within 200 miles or so, and they can charge somewhere there at the nearby Walmart and get back, we can tremendously help the environment. Even the Tesla Semi's initial iteration, which was announced actually with 300, 500 miles of range per charge, is not comparable to the range of diesel long holders which are fitted with 200 gallon tanks and are capable of running over 1000 miles with a full tank so 1000 miles with a full tank that means tesla one day has to um, i to 1600 kilometers of uh, range on their tesla semi truck with a single charge right now as you can see they're eyeing at 1000 kilometers which is 620 miles which is still a great deal things become very different with a battery electric truck that is capable of traveling 620 miles between charging sessions in the united states semi truck drivers are mandated by law to drive no more than 11 hours per day within a 14 hour work day cab before they are required to rest at highway speeds, this translates to drivers covering about 600 to 650 miles per shift. This is where Tesla Semi's 620 mile new range is becoming pivotally important. Now, considering Elon Musk's recent statements about the Semi, it appears that Tesla is improving its Class 8 truck to such a degree that it would be a compelling alternative even to long-range diesel and gas semis. Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi also says that the trucking market is pretty much dictated by the businesses that are dependent on it. With this in mind, there is a good chance that business using trucks for its operations would shift to battery electric trucks once those businesses offer, uh, actually once those trucks, either by Tesla or by others, offer more advantages compared to their traditional counterparts. How long this will take? I don't know, but I think it's already coming. In the Tesla Semi's case, the low operating costs, better performance, and safety improvements are already there. These are three major advantages. Let me repeat them again. Low operating costs, better performance, and safety improvements. These are already there. And when the 620 miles range comes, with 620 miles of range, businesses will likely find very little reason to stick with fossil fuel powered trucks, concludes Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi. Well, friends, let me know what you think. Are you excited about Tesla's new possible range? I think it's going to be very interesting. By the way, during this conference where Elon Musk was speaking, he also 
confirm that Tesla Semi is going to use the Tesla's new 4680 battery cells and even the new structural battery pack design that Tesla unveiled with the new cell at its battery day event. He also said some interesting things like uh, those kind of ranges are achievable for an electric semi truck at around 300 uh, volts kilogram of energy density at the cell level, hinting at the energy density of Tesla's new cells. Well, friends, have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. I'll see you soon in our next report. I have an interesting report coming about Giga Berlin. So look for that and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day and uh, peace be with all of you.